Hey, this is Gatorix, and remember the Neopets trading card game? This has been sitting at uh, my local card game store for a while, and uh, I got it recently, not like too recently, you know, maybe maybe a month ago, and uh, I've just kind of been holding out to it, and I figured, you know what, why not open it up for uh, a video? It's not, you know, anything like special, it's just a deck, or uh, one of the theme decks for the uh, Meridel expansion, uh, Battle for Meridel, that's I guess what it was called. Uh, this was a really interesting card game from back in the day, did not last all too long, and it's really interesting now that uh, Neopets has announced they're going to be uh, rebooting things, they're coming out with a new trading card game, but there is a lot to say about this. Uh, really interesting for this, uh, let's see, so we get a rule book to explain the rules nice uh, and then we get just the uh, just the pack of cards here there's no uh, there's no play mat included uh, and I, I double check the back too seeing yeah yeah it doesn't say there's a play mat which uh, is interesting because for this kind of game uh, I feel like at least a starter play mat is pretty uh, necessary so let's go ahead and open these up and I'll just kind of chat about the card game as well for a bit so there we are looks like we've got a hollow or at least you know is that yeah it looks like that's a real hollow here Opening these up and breaking that old seal. I realized, like, oh, they've been sealed for <laughs> quite some time. So we got Jaren Meridel Knight uh, again, very important character to uh, the story. You know, by the way, Neopat says lore. What I love about these cards is I think, you know, the card design's really nice. Got the names, elements, all the information that you would need. And I think, like, the actual artwork for the card is great because, you know, despite this being. Um, a game based off a pre-existing franchise, I guess. Uh, they really went all in for the artwork on this card. So we got Jaren. Uh, looks like that's the main thing of the deck, and I guess everything else is just going to be uh, a common, or at least, you know, unhollow Jaren Sword, which, by the way, we got the uh, little equip cards. I like, again, nice little design thing so that when you attach equip cards to uh, your Neopets, uh, they get that. So Jaren's armor, chocolate Corbats, uh, looks like general stuff, and it looks like they're mixed in, so... Uh, this little set symbol here, the star one I believe was like the base set for Neopets, and then here we go, this shield here, uh, I believe that one was the battle for Meridel expansion, Alicia's Charm, Pet Pet Growth Syrup, <laughs> Strawberries, Morris, uh, also you know interesting all these cards too, they have like extra little flavor text here, Gigantic Snowball, Strawberries, uh, looks like there's no order to the cards here because it looks like we're just kind of getting <laughs> jumbled up. Um, uh, of items, uh, the something has happened cards, some of the heroes too. Healing Potion Beyond Neopia, Kayla. Actually, you know, I realized, uh, Jaren Melbarendal Knight. Oh, no, no, he is a hero. He is a hero. Uh, which, by the way, you know, all the white cards, those are like named characters, they're heroes. And, uh, there, there is one stage that's like a gray, but I'm realizing, like, oh, if there's a hollow wa uh, white card, it kind of looks gray. Kayla, Starberry, Water, yeah, all the, uh, like, all the items look relatively uninteresting, but they're sort of important in the long run for the game, because, uh, by the way, you know, the Quiggle Runner, I guess, we'll talk about it, another Morris, we'll go over the interesting stuff, because, again, all the items don't look <laughs> that interesting, Kayla, a Quiggle Scout, again, all the experienced Neopets look like they're there for the, uh, for the story stuff, Marketplace, Jaren's Armor, Nice snowball, and here we go, at the very end, here we get the regular Neopets, which these ones are, you know, normally kept separate, uh, but you see you got a Quiggle, Zephra, <laughs> Zephra, Quiggle, Zephara, or Zephara, uh, yeah, to, you know, basically go into all your other, all your other guys, interesting, no, uh, nothing for Jaren, but I guess actually all the experienced Neopets that we got are Quiggles, and mostly Quiggles. We got Zafaras here. Uh, these ones you don't necessarily need to like level them up. Only the um, normally normally only these ones. Or hang on, I forget how those go. But yeah, it's it's an interesting game because this is a game built around a lot of luck, a lot of chance. Uh, here, let me at least <laughs> just kind of sort these, organize while we're talking here. At least you know we wanna we wanna see the interesting stuff. Mostly all the experienced no pets and the heroes. Uh, but you know it was a fun little game that I played around a lot with uh, my brothers when we were younger. I have probably a box of like a bunch of our old Neopets cards too lying around somewhere. Maybe we'll look at those. There we go. Yeah. So that's a little more sorted there. I don't know what the main strategy for this deck in particular is, but for the most part, you know, you have your you have your basic Neopets here, and then you're going to have, like, your experienced Neopets, and your heroes, and or villains, um, and you see every card, or every Neopet, 
is going to have four different stats, going to have their strength, their agility, their magic, and their intelligence. Of course, corresponding to, you know, whatever the character would be in, uh, in lore. And you basically have contest, right? Where a turn, for the most part, is going to be shared um, between, you know, between players. Uh, but you're going to have, like, you know, your different, you're going to have, like, four different rows, right? Four different columns or sections based on this. And I think that's probably in the rulebook somewhere, too. Yeah, different arenas, you call them. Different arenas for each uh, for each attribute, you know, strength, agility, uh, magic, or intelligence. And, you know, it's basically one of those things of like, oh, you know, whoever has the highest one after, you know, additional modifiers like equipment or whatever item cards you happen to have. And then there's also a die roll in there somewhere. So it's very, very randomized and kind of chaotic, but it's like, it's a nice, fun little card game. And I think it would kind of be neat to like actually build this up into or you know take this deck and then go with our old cards and like build them together and just you know play around for a bit for fun uh, again you know all the all the other cards uh the thing is like with winning a game you're gonna want to like build up so every card has a little value here in the bottom left um those are you know like the little the little points so when you win a contest uh, when you win any kind of contest, you're going to, like, take one of these from your hand and then place it into your bank. And then that's now this is no longer an item card, but this counts as, like, you know, toward your bank. So this is four points, right? So that's why it's like, okay, you need the balance of, like, you need cards that actually do something. But then you also need, like, ones that are worth a decent amount of points when you actually bank them. Uh, and it is only items and equipment. Uh, the pet pets are considered equipment. Uh, aside from, like, you know, the... Um, the something is happening cards basically you know like the event cards and then i think it was yeah the locations they don't have a value so you can't do those so it's mostly just all the items and it's just kind of funny because then you're going to have like a deck full of like all these items and uh yeah but that's basically just some of my thoughts on the neopets trading card game you know the original one i had a lot of memories with this you know just obviously getting a bunch of packs they got uh they got a decent amount of expansions i think one of my favorite expansions thematically was curse of maraqua um and I think that might be one of the ones that I ended up getting most of, like actually, you know, like most cards from. But, um, but yeah, again, you know, I, I just got, I'm opening this up because I, I saw this and it's been kind of staring at me uh, every time I go to the card store. So I figured last time I was there, again, like maybe a month ago, I'd get it. Because um, it's, it's kind of a neat little thing. But uh, yeah, I definitely maybe like to talk about other additional random card games from here and there. Uh, like I said, I think probably the best thing this Neopets card game has going for it is the art. Because it is just, it is original artwork for every card. Um, maybe there are some images, like... You know, some other important characters, sometimes they'll have, like, um, kind of, not necessarily stock images, but, like, they'll have their key art that's used for a bunch of different promotional things, and then, you know, maybe for the card depicting them, it'll just be them in front of some background, or at least, you know, maybe the art was made for the card game first, I'm not sure, and maybe that's used elsewhere. Uh, but otherwise, like, yeah, no, just literally every card has all this original artwork, and I like, too, how the cards are formatted, because it really allows it to, it, it really lets you see the artwork too for each of these cards um and, to, and you know it's also nice like they've got like different art styles but they all kind of like adhere to the the neopets thing although even though like this looks like definitely older style artwork with the thicker lines um and then this one looks like you know more more of a recent one even though they're both in the same expansion so that's kind of interesting there but let me know what you think in the comments below did you ever get into the neopets training card game are you excited for the new rebooted card game coming up um I don't know how much news there is on that, but obviously when it comes out, I'll be uh, discussing it, maybe opening up some stuff. Uh, and if you want to see me like revisit or re-talk about any other older card games, maybe stuff that I've brought up here on the channel before, let me know as well. But anyway, this is Gatorax. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you all later.